Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is kind of a combo of a no makeup makeup look plus a no foundation makeup routine. I would say this is a little bit more than a no makeup makeup look, but you can kind of customize it to make it your own. The point of this tutorial in this video was to create a full look without using foundation and I get uh, comments frequently from people saying I don't like wearing foundation, I don't like the feel of foundation, or I just don't like to take the time to put foundation on. So this is a routine that can be for you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to tweak it and uh, kind of turn it into a look that you wouldn't even know that you're not wearing foundation. So if you're interested, let's go ahead and start. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys don't like to wear foundation on a daily basis. I get that comment all the time when I am doing tutorials. People will say, love the look, but I don't wear foundation on a daily basis. So I wanted to give you guys a couple of options uh, for things that you could use if you're not big on actual foundations. The product I'm actually gonna use today is new and it's from Charlotte Tilbury and it's called the Unisex Healthy Glow all year hydrating summer tint moisturizer. So this is what it looks like. Um, I hope my lighting's not too bright. It might be a little bit too bright. Um, but basically this is a moisturizer and a bronzing tint in one. It's not like a tinted moisturizer in my opinion because it doesn't really offer any coverage. It just offers this uh, really nice glow to your skin and uh, it's, it's very lightweight. So this is a newer option, uh, a little bit more on the pricey side if you are looking for a good drugstore option. I love this one from Neutrogena. It's called the Hydro Boost Tint and it's like the name says, it's just a really fresh tint to your skin. It has a really unique applicator that makes it easy to apply. So that's another great um, affordable option. And then of course, you know, I have to throw in Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is my all time favorite, just daily wear product. It feels amazing. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin and uh, it's great. So last product is actually a foundation. Uh, it is a very thin and lightweight foundation though, and that's Max Face and Body. Uh, I use this on a ton of clients. Basically this foundation and really all of these products are gonna be for those of you who don't really need to cover up a lot. Uh, so I'm not saying like, hey, you know, go out and grab these if you need to cover up blemishes or scarring. This is gonna be for those of you who A, don't mind less coverage, or B, just don't like the uh, fill of foundation. So let's go ahead and start, since that was a long intro. Um, I'm gonna start out with the Charlotte Tilbury Unisex Healthy Glow. I've only had this for a couple of days, uh, and a little goes a long way. That's probably actually too much. Um, you're gonna see when you apply this, how quickly this turns into like this uh, almost orange tint, but trust me, once you get it blended out, it um, it actually looks really nice on the skin. Right now, I am kind of just in like a light medium range. I've lost all of the color from um, my honeymoon, and I haven't really been out in the sun a lot, so uh, I'm not very tan, but I'm not as fair as what I would normally be, and this still works um, well on me. If you are a little bit more on the fair side, I fear that this might be a little too much for you. I fear that it might be a little too orangey um, and you may not be able to get it to blend properly into your skin. Um, but if you're in the light range, light medium range, I think it would be okay. So as you can see, it just adds a little bit of color and life back into the skin. Definitely make sure you have got it blended everywhere. Uh, you will have to blend it on your neck, especially if your neck is uh, lighter than your face. But now I'm going to move into a little bit of like a highlighting slash concealing uh, thingamajig, I guess we could say. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher Concealer Pen. Um, and I did not mean for this to be like two Charlotte Tilbury products in a row, but this is a really great um, lightweight product that you can use to spot conceal. So uh, again, if you're not into foundation, but you have some blemishes or uh, scarring that you need to 
add a little bit of extra coverage to concealing pins are great because they offer a slight bit of coverage but they're not overwhelming like um, you know your Tarte Shape Tape concealer I'm just gonna take uh, my beauty blender and softly blend this out and you're just gonna see that it will add a touch more coverage and brighten up the under eye area. Um, that's one thing, like anytime, even if I do kind of like a no makeup makeup look, I always want my under eye to look fresh. I hate seeing makeup where, you know, somebody has foundation on but they haven't really done anything to the under eyes. Um, there's still some darkness going on around there. So I always make sure that I, that I add, um, you know, a little bit of coverage to the under eye area to put some pep in my face. Powder is optional, of course, but I do like to generally set my face with a little bit of something when I have, especially um, something like a tinted moisturizer on because it tends to be a little bit more emollient. So I'm using my Bare Minerals Hydrating Mineral Bell. This is like my everyday setting powder. It does not look like powder on the skin. It is so, so, so incredibly lightweight and it is also hydrating. When I'm not wearing foundation, I like to use a bronzer that has a little bit more warmth to it as opposed to something that is ashy because if you contour with a super lightweight base on, it's going to look a little muddy, a little out of place. So you want to stick with something that is a little bit more warm and forgiving and almost just like you've of course been out in the sun. So I'm going to take a little bit of my Bare Minerals Warmth. I just have a little bit in the cap. And I'm gonna use, uh, this is I think a MAC 135 brush. Uh, I use it generally to do a slight contour, but it's also good just to add, um, how should I say, it doesn't pick up a ton of product. So it applies product really lightly. And I'm just gonna dust that all over my face. And you can see I'm not really contouring or anything. I'm just adding some color into my skin. So I'm just going to add a soft blush to my cheeks. I'm using Bare Minerals Vintage Peach and I don't like using highlighter when um, I've done a really light coverage look like this because I just think it looks out of place. So instead I just use a blush that has a bit of shimmer in it. That way I've got a little bit of a glow going on but it's not, you know, the streaky full on, you know, out of this world highlighter. So Vintage Peach is a really pretty, um, obviously fresh peach color and you can see it just has the slightest bit of shimmer to it so I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and also bring it up a little bit higher again to add um, a slight glow. All right, I just filled in my brows slightly and uh, most days when I wear a look like this, I don't even wear eyeshadow. Uh, but if I do, it's gonna be something that is like a soft matte brown. So I'm just gonna take this shade in my Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. It's called Nudie. And um, on, this is like a old, old Morphe brush. It's basically equivalent to a MAC 217. And I just brush this slightly um, over my eyes to give a little bit of definition so um, my eyelids aren't white. I have pretty fair eyelids and so sometimes if I don't go over them with enough bronzer or uh, like a brown shadow, they can appear, um, as you can see, pretty bright. Just gonna tight line with a little bit of brown liner. And of course, some brown mascara. This is Tarte's Lifted Mascara. Normally, I would just stick to uh, a tinted lip balm or a lip gloss, but I really want to try this shade of the new L'Oreal Infallible Paints. This is the new Nude Collection. You guys, uh, these are going to be my favorites this month, but I'm just going to go ahead and tell you early. These are so freaking good. I and also the lip liners that come with them. Uh, they're also, I think, called the Infallible. No, these are the Color Riche Matte. 
uh, lip liners that I believe they should, if you find them in the drugstore, they should be alongside of the new nude lip hates. Oh my gosh, best drugstore lip products I have ever tried. And I'm not exaggerating. I think these lip liners are the best lip liners I have ever used out of high-end and drugstore. They are so incredibly creamy, velvety, they last. And whenever it comes to the actual lip paints, colors are super pretty. Everybody has been asking me about this shade I've been wearing in a lot of snaps or a lot of Instagram stories called Tongue Tied. Oh my gosh, these stay on all freaking day, you guys. All freaking day. They do not budge. I eat, I drink with them, and they last amazingly well. I don't know if it's because of uh, the combination I'm using with the lip liner and the product, but oh my gosh, out of this world. So um, I really wanted to try this shade called Peach Pit, and normally I wouldn't wear like a full-on lipstick, but... I'm kind of feeling it. So I think I'm going to use the lip liner. I don't know what this one is called. Number 112 Mas Mastermind. Mastermind is what it's called. Um, and yeah, we're gonna see how this looks. And some lip glass. This is uh, the Cream Sheen Lip Glass from MAC in Boy Bait. All right, so I think this is it. Really fresh, really natural, no foundation used at all. So great for those of you who don't like to take the time to do your foundation or don't like the feel of foundation. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys, you can create a really nice everyday makeup look without using tons of foundation or even a basic tint and moisturizer. So I hope you guys enjoy the look. I hope you guys enjoy the little chatty tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.